The 2011 season is going really well. We currently, with throughout the project at both our Maui facility and our Keahoe facility, we have 13 alala hatches, which ties the record that we set last year. We had 13 hatches and 11 survived. So this year, we still have you know, about a month left in the season, so we're hoping that we're gonna surpass that record that we set last year. The alala incubation period is 21 days. Typically, we try to let all of our females lay on their eggs for at least seven days of incubation. So in the wild, a female would lay one set of eggs and then spend that 21 days of incubation roosting those eggs, and then the eggs would hatch, she would then raise her chicks, and that would take the entire summer. In captivity, if we pull a female's eggs, they'll just lay another set of eggs. They'll do what's called recycling and lay a second set of eggs. And if a female starts early enough in the season, we'll sometimes get three clutches out of one female. So that way, instead of just one clutch of eggs, we'll get up to 12 eggs sometimes in one, in one season. You know, the alala is one of the most endangered species on the planet. So going into this breeding season, we had 76 adult, bir adult birds. So with, with this 13 that we've added, that's now up to 89. So the 13 chicks that we've had hatched this season represent more than 10% of the now total alala population. So that's why it's really critical for us to raise as many birds as we can every single year. It's really important for us to be there for the entire hatching process for an alala egg. A really healthy egg is going to be able to hatch on its own. The chick's gonna go through between 12 and 36 hours it's gonna take to hatch out of the egg, but sometimes the chick is gets stuck for some reason. It's either malpositioned or it dries out or something, and we need to know when that happens so that we can go in and actually physically hatch the chick out on our own. We take tweezers and we go through the entire hatching process and it's definitely a really delicate process. We need to watch for blood loss, make sure the chick isn't getting too stressed out. And, and so it's definitely a, a process that sometimes takes place at two o'clock in the morning. Whenever it goes, it goes. So typically they get fed between six o'clock in the morning to about eight o'clock at night. But sometimes if a chick is a little bit weak or it hatched late in the day, we'll come in and do a 10 o'clock feed, a midnight feed, sometimes a two o'clock in the morning feed, whatever is necessary to keep that chick nice and healthy. So it's been a really exciting season because our birds have either hatched really well on their own in a really timely fashion, which gives us less stress, or the ones that we have assisted hatched have been doing great. So we're really excited about the season and excited about the chicks that are still to come.